been in this situation, like waiting until it's on the outside, not like declaring your love for each other in front of everyone and then when you get out realising that you don't like each other, you've left it so that you can have that private talk between the two of you rather than talking about it all the time in front of everyone else, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why it's good. And I think whatever happens, at the very least, the very least you'll get out of it is a friend for life. Yeah. Which is fucking amazing. Yeah. I think you'd be a good couple. I think I need to lose a bit of weight first. Why? Because I'm not happy with myself. So if you're not, if you're not happy with yourself, then that doesn't that doesn't make it um, doesn't make it easy because when um, like because you say that he's like really good looking, then you'll start questioning yourself or questioning him. If you're not happy with yourself, mm. so that's why you've got to be hap like happy and comfortable with yourself before you can, before you can be in any relationship mm. with anyone. Yeah, so I want to just get down to like a nice size twelve or something. It won't take you long. Just because you've been in here for like two and a half months and you haven't done no exercise, and the only thing to do in here, if you're not like chatting to people or got a task, is eat. Mm. It's really easy to eat loads when you're here. Like I've I've lost the shape. Like I wasn't in great shape before I come in, but even from then I've even lost even more shape. Like I look like a bag of fucking bollocks. You do. But. But um yeah, so I think I, I'm a bit worried about that as well. Hmm. I won't be worried about that. But if someone cares about you that much, they'd just bear with you, wouldn't they? John James isn't the sort of guy just because, like, you feel that you're that you need to lose weight. He's not gonna say, "Okay, all right, I'm not gonna go out with you till you've lost that weight." Because he's not that sort of guy. He's not shallow. And if he cares about you and if he he loves you, then it'll be for who you are now. So. Yeah. You should, you should be comfortable, but if you're not, it's, it's easy to say, like, because he's, he's happy with you now, but if you're not comfortable with yourself, you've got to get to a point where you are comfortable. Yeah. That'll be good. He'll be waiting for you on Tuesday. I cannot wait to see him. I'm so excited. That'd be good though, innit? If you had the makeover thing, like the hair done, nails done, your tan done. But I wish they'd wa wax my fanny. <laughs> Why can't you just <laughs> shave it? Because I don't like shaving. I've shaved it at the sides. I've got ingrowing hair now. Oh, really? Yeah, I got an ingrown hair. You know, the other day when I shaved mine. Yeah. I saw it today. It's really bad. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bump. Yeah. It's not about having a bump. bumpy joiny. Bumpy joiny. Oh, waxing must hurt though. Do you have to shave it first, then wax the smaller hairs? No, my friend sugars it, and she, honestly... Sugars it? Yeah, it's like the same it? as waxing, but it's better for you. What's sugar? She does it for... It's, what does that mean? It's like sugar, she does it with her hand. It's like melted sugar, and it's like it's paste. And then she goes... So it uses like kind of wax strips, but without the wax on. Yeah, and it's and nicer like for your skin. And uses like kind of that. sticky sugar and stuff. Yeah, sort of, yeah. And it's like syrupy, but it's better for your skin and that. Really? Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't hurt as much, I don't think. And Because when you wax and you pull it, sometimes it must bleed. Yeah, and it tears, this does sometimes. No, not like it does with waxing. And with waxing, it tears your skin off. With this, it's really good for your oh, okay. skin and that. It tears a bit of the dead skin off, but it's better, it's better anyway. But she does, that's what she does. And um, she, 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 is brilliant because she's like me one of my best mates and she'll phone me up and she'll be like Jose come on now you know you need to come round and get sugared so I just go right now she really looks after me that's good I would have been what yeah can you imagine if they do the full hog like the whole hog like for everyone tomorrow yeah I've like, done everything like because if I hair, go out there... nails like bleeding eyebrows Make up everything for you. Yeah, my God. That'd be good. Can you imagine you'd go out and you'd be like completely different, like completely made over to when John James last see you? That'd be amazing for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
and 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 plus I like if I didn't have an airy joiny, I'd try and smooth him right over. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, you fucking crack me up, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, like... you just have to shave it for, for, for the final night. Yeah, but I mean, they might not want to name me, but it's not about trying to smooth them over with the airy joining, is it? Because no. you'd feel a bit less confident anyway. Definitely. You'd smell like a little bit down there and smell it nice everywhere else. Smell? Yeah. It don't smell. Will do because you'll be pissing your pants through the nerves. Oh yeah, I better have a quick shower. Look at me, like I'm gonna actually smooth him right over. You will do. Do you Yeah. Well, I'm smoothing him over. I'm gonna be like, how does it feel having sex with a finalist? <laughs> no, you'll be saying, how does it feel to have sex with the winner? No. <laughs> See these tits? You're looking at winner tits right here. <laughs> <laughs> these tits, number one, winner. <laughs> Cop a load of this. If you won, you'd be like, this widger, number one winner. Yeah. 2011. <laughs> Suck it to me, baby. Last cock in the house. <laughs> 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 I love that one. I like that. I like it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby. Two thousand and eleven. <laughs> if you win, JJ, can you buy me a pair of Nike Air Maxes? Fucking hell, Joe. There's not a chance of me winning. I, I say that every time you say that to me, so I can say that to no, you. No, but Joe, see, the thing is, you forget. I was out on the outside world for six weeks before I come in. That was bloody a month ago. All this Sam Pepper nonsense, John James nonsense and that. People can change their mind like that. Yeah, you? of course they could, which is why like, I still don't know, but... I, yeah. No, if, if you don't win it, it definitely won't be me. That's all I know. Out of the five that's here... I reckon 100 Dave million percent will not be me. I, I, can, I can see Dave winning it. I'll tell you right. If it doesn't, if you don't win it, yeah, like, well, this, is, this would be my five. I'll tell you now because I said I wasn't going, but I will anyway. Right, so it'd be you, Mario, Dave, Andrew, then me. That'd be the five. But if you don't win, then it'll be Mario. You'll, it'll be the roles reverse. So it'd go you, Mario, Dave, Andrew, me. Like those three at the end are the only ones that would stay the same. You and Mario, if anything, it'll be between. I don't know. I, I can seriously see Dave taking this in, but um. He might do, but. Um. But yeah, if you win, can I have a pair of Nike Max? You can have whatever you want. All of it. But I'm not gonna win. So that's why I'm saying whatever you want. All right, then can I have another pair of Nike Air Maxes? But if you don't win, I owe you a thousand pound anyway, don't I? Yeah. Remember, because we said if you win, you owe me and John a thousand pound, and if you don't win, me and him owe you a thousand pound. Yeah. So you'll have two grand then, whatever. Oh yeah. So that'd be good. That's enough to like put towards a car for one of your brothers. Oh, wicked. <laughs> I'm a winner either way. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I, like I'm, a winner already, and yeah. I'm only just a finalist. I might go to the uh, diver room and ask for a brown paper bag on the final night. Why, right, in case you start hyperventilating? Yeah. Yeah. Happened to me um, on our really? first eviction, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I had a Fuck. Like, panicky attack. Really? I couldn't breathe properly, my, stomach, my chest went all I've time. never had, like, see, I don't understand what panic attacks are like, because I've never had one. Anyway, I've had two. Oh, no, one, shit. I think I have like hyperventilated before. Is that a panic attack then? Yeah, not like I don't know what it was. I I felt like it once before, but that's when I was a really naughty person and I I, I put too much. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I go on TV. Mm. Boring. Yeah.
Yeah, they already that bit. Out. Yeah, no, they let it. I don't want all that. Like just like they edited the watermelon yeah, seeds. They don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they won't. They won't do, do that to me. They, they won't, won't mention that. Nah, of course they won't. <laughs> Even though now Ben's friends think you've turned into a deviant after coming coming in as an innocent See, that's, little child. That's why I thought I'd be evicted. That's one of the main reasons you I thought never, I was you, gone. You were never going to be evicted. But so, people so, think I'm a pervert. So, so that's you, the truth of it. People think I'm a pervert, and that, that's the truth of it. Well, even yeah. though I just joke around. Yeah, that's right. People don't understand I'm joking. You can't trifle with these things. That's the reality of it. Mm. He's not laughing at us now. Yeah, you can't trifle with these things. So I didn't do anything for a trifle. Just be sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So you mentioned you think you could put a tricast on, right? If you were given a ten-pound tricast, yeah, you'd have ten pound. Mm -hmm. And let's just say, for instance, we were all two to one. Mm -hmm. You'd end up with how much if you got it right? I don't know how it works. Well, you'd have ten pound going on a two to one, so that'd okay. be thirty pound. Thirty pound going on a two to one, which would be the ninety same, pound no, 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 no. going on a two to one. Hmm. Am I doing it? No, I don't know. I don't know what. I'll... <laughs> you look like a little kid on an advert. Do I? Yeah. I've got quite a baby face, though. So. Yeah, like a sweet corn advert or something. <laughs> sweet corn. Yeah. They call it Big Green Giant, Mummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do that. What? They call it Big Green Giant. They call it Big Green Giant, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to love that advert where the little girl got in the back of the car and she goes, now put your foot on the pedal and drive. Really? Yeah, or something like that. I don't that. remember that. <sighs> My favourite advert is that National Lottery advert. Which one's that? Well, I told you about it the other night. I used to always say that would be my perfect bloke. Where they remember. pull up to the beach and it's a freezing cold day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. June, I. Oh, it's really good. She's really good in it. It's yeah. really funny, yeah. Yeah, I, I like, um, my mum and I had it on DVD one time, but I just never bothered watching it. I wonder if they'll get... I've got, like, dark brown walnut nipples. they got a lot of gory coming from them. Yeah. Uh, little pink ones, I like them. Kink. Oh, you know, we're going to go to bed or what? Yeah, we're going to bed. I'm going to go to bed. So I'm keeping my teeth in case of Entertaining people in there. I doubt it. He's a full piece of entertainment. How many cans do you have after? Four, three. Four. Four? Yeah. Oh, you did well. Thank you. That's one of my cans. <laughs> Where's the mole? Hey, Mark. Hey, Jim. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, good. Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. Okay. I'm just laughing. Oh, why is that? Oh, I'm just remembering all the funny, t all the funny things in it. Just, I'm just like reminiscing on all the just shit that's had gone on in this Go house. Go on, what are you reminiscing? <laughs> 